Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 8 German battleship, the Bismarck. I'm using these modules and commander skills. This is a match on the map north and I'm going to just fast forward this um, starting bit because it's really really boring. Anyways, finally we get to something more interesting and that is, um, well... I finally get to a cap zone and I get to shoot at something. Unfortunately, it was an Amagi and I bounced both of the shells that hit. Oh well. And I'm also turning around now because going into their side or towards their side of the map is usually a fairly dangerous idea because it makes you vulnerable. In this case, it might have been alright though, because if I look at the minimap, I can see that many of their of their ships have come through the A-cap, but, you know, I already started the turn earlier and I wasn't quite certain, so it's safer this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go try to help defend our site, which is um, try to deal with the aggressors from their side. The guys that came through A. And obviously because a Nürnberg is right at the front, that's the main target. By the way, I've been playing NA and I played the German battleship line and I've had quite incredible Gneisenau results there. It was quite fun, or is quite fun. Anyways, um, Gneisenau, next target. Nürnberg's kind of hard to hit at 14-15 kilometers because she is still a cruiser that is fairly mobile so she will try to dodge but the Gneisen now is much much easier since she is a battleship and as you could see that was 11,000 damage. Right so at this point at least the battle should properly start for me. Um, I might try taking nah the Gneisen now is better because she is closer and I'm gonna go uh, closer I will try to get within 10.6 kilometers if possible to try to use my secondaries. Obviously, until then, I'm gonna fire as well. Oh, and another 16,000 damage. Damn. This Gneisen now is really unlucky, although it's slightly surprising. Four overpens, one penetration, yet I did 16,000 damage. That's... That that doesn't quite add up. I guess some... Uh, I guess it might have, like, penetrated multiple portions of the ship or something to deal extra damage. Oh well, it's all it's all right with me because I've done a lot of damage to her and chased her away. Okay, so there's a Schorz coming, uh, Nürnberg, a Gneisenau. The other Gneisenau is running away though, but I will be getting within secondary range of uh, the healthier Gneisenau soon because she is coming in my direction. Which you know I'm gonna select her for secondary targeting, and now she is within secondary range. And, and because I need to uh, turn my ship for secondaries to fire anyway, I will take a shot on the Nuremberg, especially since he just ran aground. Planes incoming, but it should be alright. Okay, goodbye Nuremberg. I can't believe actually that this was a first blood, that's very surprising. But now, it seems this Gneiser now is still intent on actually coming towards me. Which means I will be trying to run away and just let my secondaries work on her as I shoot other ships. Because this is just a massive amount of free damage that I will be getting, and he can't really do anything in, re in return, because her secondaries probably aren't um, long range enough. I mean, she should enter first, or you know, she should get close enough to start her secondary soon. But well, my secondaries are more powerful, and um, well, I'm the one running away, so I am holding the advantage. Because the distance from her ship to my ship is greater than the distance from my ship to her ship. At least if the shells actually have to travel. So I'm just gonna keep shooting this chores or the other Gneiser now. While my secondaries work on the closer Gneiser now. Just look at this. 67 secondary hits already. And that's just going up and up and up and up. And I believe she's even on fire from the fires that the secondaries have started, so... This is a really bad idea. Never chase a Bismarck like this that has secondaries trained on you. You'll just have a really, really bad time. Like, I haven't 
shot her once, I believe. And she has lost so much HP. Okay, it'll be like 100 hits. I might shoot her now, though. Because I don't really have many other targets. Okay, well, there she goes. I don't know why the ranger wasted the, wasted um, a strike on that. It, it's... It's a huge waste here, in my opinion, because there was no way that guy was surviving. Maybe he tried to, like, kill secure or something, but honestly, I don't... I think that was a waste. Those torpedoes should expire, because they were dropped by the enemy carrier. And um, I would really like if we could take care of this and uh, charge. But I don't think it's really possible. It's very difficult to hit cruisers that are trying to actively dodge. The average cruiser will be fairly easy because, well, the average cruiser doesn't try to dodge in random battles, but if it's a decent player, it'll be difficult to hit. That is something I've learned um, quite nicely, at least at these kinds of ranges. At like 10 kilometers or less, it's fairly easy, but 15, difficult, difficult, difficult. Maybe if you catch, catch her during like a turn, but usually you will need multiple people because um, one person will lead the shot, you know, force her to dodge and the other pe person will be able to shoot. Sure, you could somewhat do it alone if you stagger your shots, but you might just get screwed by RNG there because you're only firing like two or three shells at once. Should be able to take care of this guys now. Uh, I don't think that was good aim for this shell, but hopefully it'll work out. Maybe dispersion has... Um, Mercy on me. Come on, one more shell hit. Yes, excellent. Alright, uh, it seems the enemies are pushing to the sea camp now. So I will be going towards that to try to take care of this. By the way, I believe this was done... This might have been done before the... Um, match make... Sorry, the... Um, ja this match might have happened before the Japanese destroyer change. So that Mutsuki should be a tier 6 ship. And I killed Secure her too. I mean, that was the only target, viable target for me, so I really should have shot her anyway. But it's quite um, surprising that I actually got the kill. I don't know why. I've noticed that I often get um, decent salvos on um, TDs when I fire from range. They can easily dodge it, but usually they don't know that, you know, I'm firing at them, and as a result, well... Because of the built-in aimbot that the game has, if the enemy doesn't try to dodge, you generally will be able to hit with any kind of weapon at range if you, you know, just lead enough and, you know, aim correctly, etc. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get the shot right on the New Orleans, so I only got one hit. But the next target will be the Bismarck, because she is the one that is showing a nice broadside and it's in open water so this shouldn't be a tricky shot in any particular fashion. Planes incoming, by the way I used Hydra earlier because I didn't know where the last DD was and considering her last known location I was afraid that the DD might have like torpedoed me from the side or something like that. So the planes are incoming, I'm turning towards them, I obviously mark them for um, uh, what do you call it, for a rentier and um, well, my, I, I'm gonna take two torpedoes, but I think it'll be all right. Considering it's a uh, tier eight carrier drop, so I don't know. I think I should be quite happy with this result that I only took two torpedoes, especially since they're carrier torpedoes, so they deal like no damage anyway. And I didn't even get flooding, so I didn't have to use my damage control party. Wait, what? Did that friendly ship just shoot me? I think I was just shot by a friendly from behind. At least it sure seemed that way. Um. Oh, never mind. That was the DD behind us. So see, the DD was behind us. I don't understand what that Nizenau is doing. She's gonna take herself out of combat for like two minutes here because she's going behind an island. The good thing is that both of us, uh, me and the cruiser next to me, are moving away from the DD that's behind us, which means the DD behind us can't really do anything in regards to torpedoing. She can fire at us, but you know, we're moving away, so torpedoing is going to be very, very difficult. 
Okay. Um, I think we should be able to get, take this Bismarck soon. Which is going to enter a second range soon. By the way, if you notice what I've been doing. Also, I don't know why I haven't used Tamekon, Tamekon here. I had two fires and I guess I just didn't notice it earlier. Basically, what I try to do when fighting a battleship is I turn to show broadside to fire my guns, then I try to angle again when she fires. But the Bismarck appears to be firing HG for some god knows what reason. By the way, when you're angling, you want to be slightly um, diagonal because you don't want to show like a straight nose pointed at the enemy. You want it to be like a slight angle so that they're more likely to hit your belt uh, and, uh, you know, bounce on the belt. Okay. Yeah, she's firing at you. I don't know why. I guess I used my Damacon, so these two fires are gonna be quite annoying. But this is goodbye for you, Bismarck, and um, there should be a North Carolina, I mean, New Orleans, right around the corner. Unfortunately, the next kill will be the last one because the enemy team will lose too many points. It's actually quite surprising that one of uh, our DDs actually snuck past and got A. And I guess, I mean, the game's pretty much over here. And hello New Orleans, and you're gonna be ending the game. By the way, I press C to jump the camera from the front to the back guns to change it. Okay, uh, 800 HP left. Come on. But the uh, secondaries will definitely finish her off. Goodbye. And this should be a Kraken Unleashed too, I think. Come on, secondaries. Excellent. So, 400,000 credits, 10,000 XP. Um, close quarters expert, first blood, confederate, and uh, Kraken Unleashed. No high caliber though. And um, I don't remember what the fire resistance thing was named. I think it's fireproof. Five ship kills, obviously because it's a Kraken. 13 plane shot on 140,000 damage. Only one Citadel, but six fires. That, um, that Gneisen now just let me kill him with secondaries completely. You really shouldn't chase a Bismarck like that if you're within secondary range. So, team score, um, 1900 base XP. Not that high, actually. The enemy New Orleans, actually, has a surprisingly high amount of XP. 1300, that would actually be more if they had one than I got, so... I compliment him because he clearly had a very good game, and unfortunately he was on the losing team. Wow, that Fusa on the enemy team did nothing at all, 142 XP. Wow, incredible. Incredible. How can you be so useless? And you can see the damage. Uh, 17,000 secondary damage, 22,000 fire damage. The fire damage came purely from the secondary, so you can add those up. And it, that's 39,000 damage. Only 1.7 million potential damage taken though, but still 39,000 damage. That that Gneisen now just, just had a really, really rough game against me. Secondaries just ate her up 36,000 damage purely through secondaries. So, credits and XP 247,000 credits profit, a lot of XP, but mostly due to multipliers. Anyways, um, if you like this video, then like it. If you dislike this video, then dislike it. And uh, I would like to thank the Patreons on Patreon now. Thank you very much for your continued support, Akatakan, and I hope I see you guys next time.